This is the Armory, an unbelievably big place. Being at Gerard College is actually really special for me. People here at Gerard College have been very, very, very generous to us. Starting in 2008, when we first did this, we had zero people. You know, we had an idea. In our first practice, we had eight kids. Our second annual camps, so we had about 30 kids. Fast forward to today, we're up to 150 kids present at one session. We've never had this many kids uh, at one time. We're working with a population that's relatively new to the sport. How many people here have never ever played lacrosse before? So you're here to learn something new. So for us, it's really introducing the background and the history of the sport. How to catch, how to scoop. Okay, we talk about getting our stick parallel to the ground and not perpendicular. Okay, and then we talk about catching. Our catching grip is going to be the same as our scooping grip. Today I learned how to catch. How to shoot. I learned how to cradle. I learned how to shoot better. I learned how to cross the ball. This is my first time teaching lacrosse. It definitely brings back a lot of memories, teaching kids how to scoop a ground ball. We had a small presentation for the Philadelphia Wings. Without any further ado, Mr. Mad Dog. We're going to see who can cradle the fastest. Down the court. Get set, go. I've worked for Maverick for five years now and they've donated hundreds and hundreds of sticks. These are some of the posters that they uh, made up for me and I'm gonna sign these up and give uh, every single kid one before they leave. Leaf has done a terrific job of exposing inner city youth, both boys and girls, to the sport of lacrosse. I love working with girls. I think it's very exciting to see this many come out at all ages. I grew up in Philadelphia and there was no lacrosse in my neighborhood. We're gonna bridge that boundary that the suburbs have had for years with lacrosse programs and the city. So now the opportunity is here. I am very, very excited uh, to be able to see in my lifetime the sport of lacrosse in the inner city of Philadelphia. It really is special because it's really going to blossom into something bigger and bigger and bigger. You don't have to be the best athlete. You don't have to be the fastest, the strongest, the biggest, the tallest, but you got to want it. It's going to be what you guys make it. You guys are going to be a big part of, of really getting uh, our, our mission off the ground. Who learned something today? That's the point. That's why we are here.